Just coming off our spiritual retreat cruise to Cuba, we're already planning our next one because it's a big one. It's our 20th anniversary celebration cruise. And uh, although we can't book it yet, we're already taking reservations and it will be uh, a big thing. Uh, because I'm going to talk about prayer, and prayer is the most misunderstood thing in Christianity. Most people in prayer talk about the don't wants. Uh, they um, uh, fill their prayer request with what they don't want. And oh my golly, what a mistake. Because in, in, when you go into prayer, you are creating a powerful magnetic um, attracting power to attract whatever you're praying about. Well, whatever you're focused on, if it's lack, you're going to attract lack. I want you to attract good into your life. Often we think about what I call the don't wants, and we focus on that daily, and we talk about, we pray about, we think about the don't wants the things that we don't want in our lives. But the problem is our thoughts become magnets that draw to ourselves what we focus them on. So instead, we think thoughts that are magnets of good. Neville, the great spiritual writer, said this about prayer. Think from the end. Well, what do you want the end of your prayer to be? Do you want healing? Well, focus on healing. Believe right now that healing is happening. Do you want love? Well, focus that you have love. Not on the lack of not having love, because you attract more of the same of the not having instead of what you want. So you fill your mind. Fill your mind with thoughts of divine strength and vitality. You think about the renewing life of God surging through every part of your being right now. You start to think and pray about what you want. You make that the focus of your thoughts, your words, your actions. And you begin to feel healthy and strong uh, in every aspect of your life. You meditate on God's presence indwelling you, and a wellspring of joy bubbles up from within. Joyful thoughts begin to attract to you that that uplifts you and blesses you continually along your path. Your relationships are blessed by the harmony of God's love expressing through you. With all your thoughts centered on God, you will draw the riches of the kingdom to you. It says in Proverbs 1 verse 23, Behold, I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make my words known to you. Know, my friend, that your thoughts are powerful magnets that can attract good into your life. You no longer want the don't wants. You want what you want. And you draw what you want to you through the power of God.